specific challenges and opportunities does Cossack Group see in the electric vehicles? Uh, good question. Actually, uh, when we say opportunities, the transforming ICE to EV is something what we've been always doing. And customers are now shifting from the mechanical to the electronic industry, in which we have a very vast experience. Probably you can say for the last 60, 70 years, we've been very successful. So one opportunity is specifically the transformation of the ICE to the EV. Within that, we've been able to bring a lot of tractions working with startups right from the design stage to ensure that they have the right product for their assemblies and for the production lines which makes them productive we have a vast variety of portfolio on the product side we say like we've got over 100 1 million products in our catalog then uh, that's where we fit into the design stage we do engineering solutions as opportunities for companies who are coming from different uh, experiences, not from the conventional automotive. So the engineering solutions are bringing them products which probably they would have not imagined and still used conventional fasteners or components. Then we also have a lot of uh, experience now in the machining area, precise components or high uh, precision components, what we say. So people are welcoming us, people are looking at uh, Bossard as a company wherein we can provide them product, we can provide them engineering solutions and then with new setups, new production facilities, our services are complementing to the logistic solutions. So services in terms of all the different smart factory logistics and now the SFA which is the smart factory assembly. So putting it as a bundle, as a package, people are really able to take us in from design stage to the production flow. So it's a package what we are offering, working with startups, right? That's uh, the biggest uh, opportunity. We've been able to bring traction and we've been very successful so far. When you talk of challenges, so challenges is one that you work with the startup, you invest a lot of time. We have internal go ahead for working with all kind of new experiments for our customers and uh, at the design stage some of the startups when they close so that becomes a challenge you invest resources you invest money you invest in uh, new products and it goes away the second challenge is that at times uh, when the ramp up happens and the conventional buyers from the automotive industry come so they really want to benchmark you on pricing which sometimes uh, doesn't fit in that well, but that is of course one challenge. And the third is definitely the design changes. Like you see, we have so much knowledge now on battery side to talk about uh, being very specific. So there are so many new technologies coming in and those design changes, the market wants everything tomorrow. We being into the me mechanical and electronic industry, it takes lead time and some space to redo the whole part right so that these are some basic challenges which normally we encounter our sales people encounter day in day out but overall we see that we've grown uh, we've uh, been able to bring the customers in the knowledge is there the engagement is there and we are continuously investing in resources and teams across all the regions in all eight countries across Asia uh, to ensure that we're giving the best services to our customers what role does Bosak Group see itself playing in the larger transition to electric mobility? E-mobility. So we see e-mobility as one of the sunrise segments, uh, which is not only supporting the sustainability initiatives of uh, global warming, it is also each and every government's uh, portfolio and initiative in each of the country which we have also taken as an internal target across Posad to bring the world to the next level of sustainability. So for us, uh, it's not only an opportunity, but giving back to the society something which we can do with our routine business. When you specifically talk of uh, the Bosard group playing a larger transition, so there are a lot of things what we are doing. One. We are a very global company, knitted internally very well through systems, like we have a common system we use across the globe. 
So if you have something getting designed in the western part of the world, coming in for production in the eastern part of the world, so the communication is happening seamlessly. We are able to offer products at one region, but support the customers in another region, uh, talking to them uh, through our internal team network. Uh, which is very nicely happening through global conferences, through sharing, through platforms wherein we can see customers complementing products, right? So it's a database of not only products, but project level wherein when we sub-segment the electric vehicle like batteries or ADUs, inverters, powertrain. So we have solutions now for people, for teams to offer to customers and customers to pick it globally. So a company which is working on global level because automotive is such you build at one place, you design at other place. So it's quite complementing uh, for both the market, the customers and for our supply chain teams uh, back at the business units. The second thing is global support. So uh, now the world is all global. Some you buying the products from the, the entire world and then supplying to people at one country. So we have warehouses all across the globe, right? That supports the uh, different number of parts which go into one car from different warehouses, or it can be from a specific one business unit to that particular region. I have several examples to share of companies which have the OE at one country and the tiers at different locations across Asia. So we talk to each other every day. Customers also know which person to talk to for his solutions and it's happening seamlessly. How does Pulsar Group approach sustainability and environmental concerns with the electric vehicle? If we talk of sustainability or the green initiatives, so uh, one is definitely that within the supply chain, uh, we've taken initiatives like reducing the corrugated boxes while we deliver to our customers. We are ensuring that across the globe, all our warehouses have solar panels. So the internal electricity being used at both our offices and warehouses is happening uh, in a renewable way. Uh, we are using less and less uh, power from the grid. Uh, the third one I would say is that we are also giving incentives to people who are moving from the ICE to e-vehicles. So we are recognizing people internally that it's an initiative which uh, all of us have to contribute to. So it's a team effort. Uh, then comes what we do for the customers in the industry, right? So it's the package of our services. If you look at the smart factory logistics, so smart factory lo logistics indirectly reduces the day-to-day -day resources at our customers. We have a seamless way how we deliver products. So the customers no longer have to invest their time into punching orders, sending us those emails, talking to people. It happens seamlessly. It, uh, the logistic solution is at the customer's assembly line. He's using the part, no papers. The signal is directly coming through a software, through a cloud, to our warehouse, and the product gets dispatched in uh, plastic bins, which have a reverse supply chain established and uh, less of paper is used. So e-invoices are going, uh, no corrugated boxes are being used, solar panels are being installed across the globe. And definitely uh, these things, these initiatives will have much more matured uh, level of uh, understanding within our people. So when our people also go back to their homes within the society, they're also talking about these things, which other people will also follow. So I think Bosard as a company is really uh, well positioned, uh, uh, investing and looking forward to ensuring that we are using sustainable methods, taking learnings from the uh, EV customers what we have now, the big portfolio across the globe. So this is what I would say in a nutshell, few things what have already uh, started like in last three years across Bosard. Thank you. <clears throat> Finally, what message would you like to convey to the public and industry professionals about Bosa Group's commitment to the electric vehicle industry and its customers? Uh, I would say we are 110% committed. Uh, 
the customers can always expect uh, and have higher expectations uh, with respect to our uh, services so when you specifically uh, talk about the commitment to ev customers one that in the last few years we've been able to understand the segment very well if you break it down from the biw to battery to adus to inverters to converters to powertrain so we have very vast knowledge in the company now we have engineers working day and night across the globe sharing that information internally so we are already at that level where we are aware of all the technologies being evolved so we are ensuring the initiatives of the ev industry are met well within time frame so that our customers are also successful to their customers to the market and i would say the key message is that we are committed with our services with our technology with our know how with our experience with our good trained uh, matured engineers in the industry so that's probably the customer the people inside the knowledge inside is what i would say uh, people should definitely take uh, advantage and leverage of the customers yeah thank you